what new discoveries are waiting out there? What new adventures can we see? What are the answers to the never-ending questions in your brain that's in a race to find the reason or the place from deep on Earth to outer space so that the truth of any case can be unfurled in the real world? Science in the real world. Hi, I'm Kirsten. Welcome to Real World Science. The surface of the Earth is really amazing, and for years, scientists have been finding answers to questions like, how did mountains become so tall? And what makes some valleys deeper than others? And how did this giant hole in the ground get here? And they've given us answers. That's what this program is all about, Earth's landforms. Pangea. Most of our planet Earth is covered with water. Actually, only 30% is covered by land. The largest land areas on the Earth are called continents, and there are seven of them. There is Antarctica, Australia, Asia, Europe, Africa, North America, and South America. Scientists believe that at one time, all the land on Earth was joined together as one big landmass. It's called the continent of Pangaea. Millions and millions of years ago, Pangaea began to break apart. The continents reached their current location in arrangement about 35 million years ago. Every continent has a wide variety of landforms. A landform is any natural formation of rock and dirt that is found on Earth. Different forces on Earth are constantly at work in changing all landforms. Some forces come from deep within the Earth to develop some land formations. Other landforms are created in shape by the action of wind, water, and ice on Earth's surface. High land formations. Mountains are the Earth's largest land formations. Mountains are found everywhere on Earth. A mountain is any part of the Earth's surface that stands much higher than its surroundings. Mountains are made of rock and rise far above the surrounding land. Some mountains stand alone and are surrounded by lower land. Other mountains are part of a group of mountains called a mountain range. There are three different types of mountains. Fold mountains, fault mountains, and volcanoes. Each type is formed in different ways. To best explain how mountains are made, you need to understand that the Earth is made up of different layers. A solid core in the center, a liquid outer core, and then a mantle of heavy rock, which is partially liquid. The part that we live on is the crust. The Earth's crust is made up of large sections called plates. The plates flow on a sea of melted rock called the mantle. The plates are moving constantly. Scientists call it rifting. Sometimes, these plates press together. When they do, the pressure causes the plates to buckle into folds. Most of the great mountain ranges on Earth are fold mountains. The Himalayas in Asia and the Andes in South America are all examples of fold mountains. Sometimes when the Earth's plates collide with each other, one plate gives way because the crust is weak. The place where the crust is weak is called a fault. 
That's how fault mountains are formed. The Sierra Nevada Mountains is an example of fault mountains. Sometimes, melted rock from deep inside the earth, called magma, forces its way through the crust. We call this a volcano. When the magma oozes out of the earth, we call it lava. As the lava cools, it turns into solid rock, and that's the beginning of a mountain. There are active volcanoes all over the world. One of the coolest land formations you will see on Earth is called a plateau. A plateau is a highland that is flat on top. Plateau in French means platter. A platter is flat. Geologic forces shaped plateaus by lifting them up. Then erosion, which is the moving of rocks and soil by wind and rain, wears them down. You can find good examples of plateaus in and around the Grand Canyon in North America. Some plateaus erode, or are worn away and get smaller. We call these land formations mesas. In Spanish, mesa means table. Some mesas erode even more and become smaller. These formations are called buttes. Butte is from the French word for mound. Buttes are still flat on top. Usually, buttes stand alone, away from other high land formations. Low land formations. Let's take a look at how valleys are formed. Between mountains are places called valleys. Like mountains, valleys are formed in different ways too. Some valleys were made by rivers. Rivers cut or carved deep into the earth over thousands and thousands of years. The valley becomes deeper and deeper as the land is worn away. River valleys are V-shaped because rain runs down the sides and erodes the soil. Glaciers formed some valleys too. A glacier is a huge mass of moving ice. Many glacier valleys were formed during the Ice Age almost 20,000 years ago. Giant glaciers moved across the earth and scraped long valleys out of the land. Glacier valleys are U-shaped because the moving ice filled the valley to the top and wore away the valley floor evenly. There is another kind of valley too. It's called a canyon. Canyons are usually found in dry desert areas. Fast flowing rivers carve out the land. But unlike other river valleys, Canyons have steep sides because there is very little rainfall to wear down the walls of the canyons. The Grand Canyon is 1,800 meters deep. That's almost 1.2 miles. A narrow, steep-walled canyon, or part of a canyon, is sometimes called a gorge. Flat Land Formations Some landforms are high, some landforms are low, and some landforms are flat. Areas of flat land are called plains. A plain is a wide flat area of land. Plains can be found in different places all over the world. Plains are formed in many ways. Miles and miles of flowing lava from erupting volcanoes formed some of the plains. Over time, the lava cooled and formed a lava plain, also called a lava field. Lava fields are found in many places around the world. 
other large flat areas of land plains are formed mostly by erosion and sediment. Erosion is the gradual wearing away of the Earth's surface through the action of water and wind. Sediment is the tiny particles of sand, clay, and silt that are carried by wind, water, or ice and deposited in different places. The Great Plains in parts of the United States and Canada were formed by forces of erosion. The Great Plains is referred to as a prairie. It is filled with miles and miles of grasses and very few trees. The savannas of Africa are another type of plain filled with tall grasses and scattered trees. Plains are also formed in the deepest, darkest part of the ocean. Called abyssal plains, it is a relatively flat area of the ocean basin floor. Since there is no light, many creatures living on the abyssal plain are bioluminescent. They create their own light. Abyssal plains were formed by the combination of Earth's pressure and water currents carrying and depositing sediments over millions of years. At the bottom of the Earth is Antarctica. There are many flat areas in Antarctica. The plains of Antarctica are covered with solid, frozen ice. Landforms by the sea. Some landforms are found under the sea, and some are found by the sea. Take for example an island. Islands are areas of land surrounded by water. They are not connected to continents. Great Britain is an island that stumped the edge of a continent called a continental shelf. Scientists believe that most continental islands were connected to the continent, but over time, the water levels rose very high, leaving only the highest ground as islands. Other continental islands include Long Island in North America and Sicily off the coast of Italy. Oceanic islands are different than continental islands. Many oceanic islands are formed by undersea volcanoes. Oceanic islands, like Hawaii, are found in the Pacific Ocean. Iceland is an oceanic island found in the North Atlantic Ocean. All sides of an island are completely surrounded by water. A landform, such as peninsulas, are covered by water on three sides and are connected to a mainland. Peninsulas are found all around the world. The Arabian Peninsula is located in the Middle East. The Baja Peninsula is located off the west coast of Mexico. The country of Italy is a peninsula too. Sometimes, two large land masses are connected by a narrow strip of land with water on either side. This landform is called an isthmus. The isthmus of Panama connects North and South America and it lies between the Caribbean Sea and the Pacific Ocean. At the mouth of a river, where the river flows into another body of water like an ocean like a river, there is usually a delta. A delta is a buildup of gravel, sand, silt, and clay. If you live by the ocean or lake, I'm sure you visited a beach. A beach is a landform along the shoreline of an ocean, sea, or river. A beach is made up of loose rock particles such as sand, gravel, and pebbles. Some particles that make up the beach can also include seashells or coral. Beaches typically occur in areas along the coast where waves or currents deposit and remove sediments.
There are many other kinds of land formations found all around the world. Walking around your town, how many different landforms can you find? Land formations shape the earth and affect every living thing in the real world.